watershed moment in American war history, commemorated today in San Diego and on Midway Island in the Pacific. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina was there as the two ceremonies linked up via satellite. A proud day for veterans of the Battle of Midway, a time to renew friendships, a time to remember. There are newsreel clips of that intense moment in our history hailed as the turning point in the war on the Pacific. I was lieutenant and I flew single engine, two engine, and four engine airplanes. Retired Commander Ellis Skidmore recalls cruising at 15 knots on USS Rochester. I had an aerial spotter and he gave me a target that was 22,300 yards away. That's 11 miles and 300 yards and I fired one 8 inch gun and had a bullseye the first shot. So many battles, and especially Midway. Today's brass, voice their appreciation. These veterans that are here with us today literally turn the tide of history. This photo of enlisted man Skidmore was taken a month before the Battle of Midway. Today, he's one of those honored on board the flight deck of the Midway Museum. Oh, a proud day today. <laughs> More pictures than I can imagine. And while most attention was on the battle that changed the momentum of the war, he remembers another challenge at sea. They had a mutiny. A colorful story of a battle between shipmates. He was the executive officer and got word. The uh, crew has got some rot getting whiskey over the fantail. They're all drunk and they say they're going to take over the ship. His ensign stood tall beside him. Exec, if you say so. We can lick the whole crew. <laughs> the mutiny fizzled, and Commander Skidmore and his crew stayed in the fight. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. Now the Midway is now a museum on the Embarcadero where more than 10 million visitors have paid visits. It was not, the only, not only an aircraft carrier during time of war, it has gone on humanitarian missions after natural disasters. Quite a history there. 20